before explaining my approach i want to uh, took an example so let's suppose that uh, the root of the tree is 4 the left of the hi guys welcome to my youtube channel hope you are doing extremely good my name is lalit and i am working in expertise as d2 so today video going to be very special in this video i will talk about seven mistake that people generally do in their coding rounds i will also talk about how you can overcome these mistake and uh, do well in your coding rounds so uh, in this video i will uh, interview myself as yes for demonstration purpose so without further any delay let's start the video hi yes my name is lalit and here i am working as sd3 i have total around 10 year of experience in backend and microservices tell me about yourself hi lalit my name is yes and uh, i i am graduated uh, from ax college in 2021 with computer science team and also like i i have uh, total around 1.5 no no two year of experience in back end position hi lalit my name is yes i am graduated from ax college in 2021 with computer science team i have around two year of experience in a back end currently i am working in a y company as d1 Here I am working in a JAI team. My major role is to implement uh, medium level requirement and schedule bugs. So be confident in your interview. Your intro is the first impression of your interviewer. So keep it clean and precisely. Don't make your intro uh, so long. Keep it in five to six lines. Great. Let's start the interview. So your first question is: You have given a tree and target sum. You have to return a true. If the tree has root to leaf path such that adding up all the uh, values along the path, the sum equal to the target sum. Sorry, Lele, can you please repeat again the question? Is the tree always binary? Can tree not contain the negative value as well? Listen question carefully. Ask your doubt until you understand question very well. Yes, the tree is always binary, and tree can contain the negative value as well. okay so uh, i will go from uh, top to the bottom i took the uh, one sum and i always uh, minus the uh, that sum to the node value so speak loudly while thinking about the approach so that interviewer did not feel that you have no idea about the solution okay i know the approach can i write the code Okay, I understand the question. Can I explain my approach? So don't jump directly to the question. Give your approach first. Yes, you can explain your approach. Okay. So I will uh, first to go to the root of the tree. Then I uh, at the root I took the uh, target sum. Then I go to the left. Then at every root I. Uh, Minus the I subtract the uh, root root node value to the target sum. So then I go to the left. Then uh, add uh, same add direct node. I okay. So for explaining my approach, I want to uh, took an example. So let's suppose that uh, the root of the tree is four. The left of the uh, four is three, and the right of the four is one. and let's suppose the left of the 3 is 2 and right of the 3 is 1 okay and uh, and let's suppose my target sum is 8 okay so i travel from the root so first i subtract that uh, 4 from the 8 then i get 4 then i come to the left left of the 4 which is 3 always took proper example for explain your approach and also you can write a small pseudo code of your solution approach seems fine you can write the code okay thanks
write code with proper variable name and function name because interval like the production ready code So first of all, I will make my help and function which is get pass sum. Uh, in this, I will uh, uh, took root and target sum. So first of all, I will write my uh, base case. So when root is uh, null, I return the false. After that, uh, when I come to the leaf, I check if my uh, leaf root is leaf node. So uh, here I will check if my uh, my root minus or you can say target minus root value equal zero and then I found that a pattern written the zero and in else case I written the false after that I uh, make the regression call for left and right and when I go to the left I uh, minus target minus root value when I go to the right I uh, so always explain your code while writing it because it maintain the interaction between you and interviewer so guys that's it for the today video if you are applying for the backend position, coding round is very crucial and have a high weightage. So keep this thing in your mind for your next interview. So guys, if you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. And please comment on your favorite part. I see many of you watched the video but didn't like and subscribe my channel. You are one like give me a more confidence and motivation. So please do it. I will meet you in the next video. Until, take care. Bye.